cutting, pasting, and joining text in the terminal, this time on Hacktip. <laughs>《The Hack Tip》The show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host Shannon Morse, and this is Peach. And today we are messing around with text some more by cutting, pasting, and joining. I'm going to go ahead and put her down so I can actually type in the terminal. Sorting, cutting, and using unique can be super useful, and those are the ones that we talked about previously last week. They can be great for simply just viewing or manipulating files to be viewable in a way that you prefer in standard output. But you can also do a lot more with text, including manipulating specific lines of data and actually pulling them out of the text files. So we're going to start with cut, which is the first option for today, which is used to just pull out one specific line of data to standard output, as opposed to showing you the whole entire thing whenever you entered it into the terminal. So you can even get super precise by defining a specific line and section of the line of information to pull. Now if we look at the man page for cut, and I'll show you that on my computer, which is simply man cut you will see that its synopsis is just like the previous commands. You just type cut, your option, and then whatever your file may be up here. Now cut is simplistic in usage, and if a file does not have the correct separator between the fields, it may not work right. So for example, and I'll go back to my computer here, quit out of that man page, and I'll type in cut tac f3 birthdays enter, then this should only list the third field that is tab delimited. If I try this but with birthdays too, which you'll remember from my previous episode has commas instead of tabs in between each of the fields, let's go ahead and try that and see what happens, enter, you will notice that it doesn't sort anything to the third field because it doesn't necessarily understand that those are three different fields, not just one. Now if I try birthdays again, I'll go ahead and type that in. Then I pipe it to another cut command like this. I'll add pipe at the end and then cut with tack C2 and hit enter. This allows me to cut down the data to just that third field, then cut that down further to only the second character because tack C means character. So I'm cutting to tack C, the second character in that third field. Pretty cool. Now you can also use ranges, so if I had a range of like 10 different characters per line, I could cut it down to only show five to seven characters of each line if I wanted by typing in cut taxi 5-7. So pretty simple to do that. Lastly, since cut did not work with birthdays two because I use commas in between each field, I can fix this by using the tack D option. So in order for this to actually work, I would have to type in cut tack D, and then single quote, comma, single quote, tack F to birthdays to hit enter. Okay, so you can see it worked that time, and this tells cut that each field is separated by a comma. Now lastly, with cut, I also wanted to mention if a file isn't cutting correctly, you can use expand to convert tabs in a file to spaces, which would be written to standard output. Then you could pipe that output to cut. So there are lots of options, and if you wanna check out expand, check out the man page for that one as well. Now let's go ahead and take a quick break to thank our sponsor. IT people, you know how it is. When all of those alerts and tickets light up your monitor like a Christmas tree, you're not being productive. You're just stressed out. No mere mortal can analyze all of those alerts and respond to all of those tickets. But I have good news, you can immediately reduce that noise with Moogsoft AI Ops. Moogsoft AI Ops is an algorithmic IT ops platform that reduces your IT alerts and tickets by up to 99%, guaranteed. Moogsoft AI Ops platform integrates with all of your existing IT tools. Moogsoft's patented technology correlates events into actionable work items, they call them situations, so that you can focus on tackling the stuff that really matters. For example, in one case study, a company was experiencing tons of alert fatigue, lack of context, and thousands upon thousands of tickets. Moogsoft help with that reactive approach to incident response tickets by enabling time to value, easing the integration of ITSM tools and existing monitoring, and increasing the quality of event correlation across multiple tools. And they saw a 33% reduction in mean time to restore in the business. 
With Moogsoft AI Ops, you can reduce your IT alerts and tickets by up to 99% right now. Visit Moogsoft.com to get a demo. That is M-O-O-G-S-O-F-T dot com. Moogsoft.com. We are back and now it's time to move on to paste. So paste does the opposite of cut, which totally makes sense if you've ever used keyboard shortcuts. Instead of cutting specific fields from a text document, paste can paste in fields or text into a, a document. So for example, I have created a sorted file of Sailor Scout birthdays from Sailor Moon because I'm obsessed with that show called bdaybydate.txt. So if I cat that file, bdaybydate.txt, then you will notice each of them is already sorted for me and it looks super happy, yay, fun times. Now I did so by typing in sort tat k two comma two tat k three n birthdays greater than, which is sorting two b day by date.txt. And I don't have to run that again because I've already created the file called bdaybydate.txt, but that's basically what you have to type in to do that. Now this sorted the original file that I showed you last week and it created a new file with that sorted information. So it's good to go, ready for me. But what if I want to list this by month and day and then the name instead of name and then month and then day? In this case, you would wanna use the paste command, but to get there, we also have to use the cut command. Sounds confusing using work with me here. Okay, so first off, we are going to type in a cut command. So this one is going to be cut tac f two comma three, it'll make sense in a second, bday by date dot txt. And then I am going to sort that to bday dates dot txt. And then if I hit enter, it doesn't show me anything, not yet, but then I'm going to type in cut tac f one for the first field, b day by date. And in this case, I'm going to create a new file and this one will be called b day names.txt and hit enter. Okay, so now I have two separate files and if I cat b day names, then it just shows me the names and if I cat b day dates.txt, then it will show me the month and the day for each of these. And they're still lined up. Hotaro is the first January and then sixth, which is the day. Haruka is January 27th and so on and so forth. So they haven't switched places at all, but now they are in two separate files. You can type in paste bday dates.txt and bday names.txt. So make sure to do dates and then names second and create a new file called bday final, and I'm just gonna call it final.txt. Hit enter. Now, if I cat that file, bday final.txt, that shows it the way that I want it sorted, with month first, then the day, and then the name of the character. Now, if I don't specify to create a new file called bday final.txt, or whatever you wanna call it, it will just do standard output of the changes. Now lastly, I wanted to mention the join command as well. This one can be extremely useful if you have two different files that have corresponding values. So for example, if I have one document that lists the Sailor Moon character names and birth dates, like I already do, but another one that lists their names, their character names again, but their favorite food, I could use join to merge the two lists of data to coincide with the correct name, the character name. So I would only end up with one line for the character name, the birth date, and their favorite food. There's a really nice short man page available for join, obviously it's man join, where you can read more. Now stay tuned because coming up on Hack Tip, we are going to get into how you can compare text between multiple files, but until then, I wanna hear your feedback. Comment below or hit me up, tips at hack5.org, and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack 5, for more great stuff just like this. And I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolest. See the puppy like creeping around you.